What's going on guys, Ryan with Daily Patrol, back with another video today. I have the newly released Cable from Deadpool 2 from Hot Toys, so let's check it out. That's right guys, we're back. Cable's in the house, and I'm pretty excited about this, although there's been a lot of controversy about it. Let's be honest with ourselves. If there is a, a an announcement of a figure or a release of a figure, there's controversy because inevitably somebody doesn't like something uh, that somebody else did or whatever. But here it is. We've got cable in the box. Super excited to check this out. So uh, let's check a look at the box and then we can decide is this a good thing or a bad thing. But actually, this is a special edition, so it does come with one extra accessory, although I'm undecided if you actually need it or not. I guess we'll try and figure that out shortly. Uh, box art is pretty nice. Got a nice little Deadpool symbol there, cable. Got cable on the front, which does look like the actual figure. Sometimes they do just do art uh, rendition, but I think that's the actual figure, just due to the texture on the hair and skin and whatever. Um, but there it is, there's the box. And it says cable right there. So I do have the box. Uh, I, I took all the plastic off the box because saving time and trouble and whatever. So here's the actual uh, extra accessory. And it would be helpful if I had a knife, which I have right here. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. And this is the, the special edition bonus uh, that if you got it from overseas, you're gonna get it. If you got it from uh, other retailers, uh, you may or may not get it. Uh, and you may or may not care. So let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, obviously I got mine from Pop Collectibles, which is in Hong Kong. And um, you know, if you wanna pick one of these up, you can check them out and uh, you can get the extra accessory bonus accessory. But here it is. And uh, as you can see, it's translucent. This is his energy shield that he used a lot in Deadpool 2, which just happened to be uh, on TV today uh, as I was just kind of messing around on TV. It's actually there. So I went ahead and watched it because, you know, why not? would really love a domino figure. But I think this is pretty cool. I, I don't know if this is a necessary thing. I guess we'll, when we get down to posing, we'll try to figure that out. Um, but uh, I kind of dig it. It's all right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the rest of the stuff it comes with is in this tray right here. So it does have a tray of a lot of weapons. So we'll definitely break these out. Uh, I've already taken the plastic wrap off our figure because I wanted to take a look at the head sculpt. So we've got his uh, little poncho thing here. We've got his uh, daughter's uh, bear here. If I can get him out of here. Here we go. Got his daughter's bear. We'll take a closer look at this stuff. And I've got a bunch of hands and display base, whatever. I will take a look at the figure real quick if we can. And uh, let's see what this thing's all about. Now, my first thought on this was that this head sculpt was a tad soft. That was my first thought. Uh, not bad. Just not, it's not like your uh, grandma of Tarkin or your director Krennix or, you know, maybe a Luke or whatever. Um, but you guys let me know your thoughts. I think it looks a little soft. Um, Again, not bad, just not as good as their other offerings, uh, in my opinion. So there's that. It does have this nice feature. You can pop the head off. I think do this. It's just on a uh, little peg, I guess, if you will. And there's a light-up feature here, which, uh, again, I think is uh, useless. Uh, the, his, uh, his left eye lights up. There's one little LED there. Uh, I, I, that's not something I'm going to mess with, so there's that. Do have the mole system going on here for attaching all his weapons and whatnot, so that's going to be fun. You're definitely going to need tweezers. These are something you always keep around if you have six-scale figures. Uh, but I, I kind of dig it. I, I kind of dig it, honestly. This arm looks freaking sick. It really does. Look at this thing. You know, when he was moving around the arm and like the individual cables and everything would move and stretch out and act like muscles, it was pretty sick. Uh, we're gonna have uh, limited range of motion on this arm, limited range of motion on this arm, single joint, that kind of sucks. Uh, but there is actually some, uh, some molded veins and muscles and stuff going on, which is fine. The paint applications are good. Uh, and the paint applications from the arm to the neck to the head appear to be matching fairly well. So can't be mad about that. And this, the overall tactical feel and appearance of this guy is, is, uh, is pretty nice. I like this little brass paint application I've got going on here in the middle of this gunmetal gray. I kind of dig that too. Um, but uh, we'll have to get all the accessories on there and put them, you know, let's see what's all will fit on there. Got, got some strands of whatever going on. Even the back of the neck, it's pretty cool. I dig this. So one of the uh, things, let me get this out of here. 
that was been up for debate and, and honestly I, I'm not even going to mess with it um, it is when you take off the the gear and you take it off the the uh, the, the the armor and then the shirt he looks skinny the body it looks undersized and looks skinny um, and I can say that yeah I, I can see that we saw that with like the Clone Wars Darth Maul okay so that, that's the thing uh, but I get, I would throw out there how many people are actually going to display theirs without all the gear and all kitted up and ready for battle. Like who, I don't know, unless you're buying multiples of these, I just don't see that as a common thing. So for Hot Toys to have made the body bulked up as, as Josh Brolin was in the, in the movie, uh, and then add the stuff onto it, he would have been all kind of top heavy and poofy, which would be great for a comic look, but that's not what they're going for here. We're going for the movie representation. So for that, I have zero interest in taking off the shirt and the and the armor and all. I just I just don't, if you're looking for that, I'm sure somebody else in review land will do that. I have no interest in doing that. And by all means, this, this is, I buy these for myself. So there's that. Um, but I, I think it looks pretty stinking cool with the, uh, the pants. The shirt and the uh, armor on there, uh, the jacket system, I, I think it looks just fine proportion-wise. And then obviously when we add all the stuff on there, I think it's going to look even better. But before we go add all the stuff, let's go ahead and check out what kind of range of motion we're actually going to get out of this guy. So we'll kind of do that real quick. Um, I have a feeling we're going to... Let's see what we're going to get here. Uh, it's going to be tight. Okay. So we're going to get a single bend on that elbow, which I 100% expected, and a single bend on this elbow, which again, I expected. You guys know how much I hate single bend elbows. Like it's, it just sucks. But I understand in circumstances like this, why they, why they did what they did. Uh, leg wise, uh, yeah, double bent, way double bent. No, no issues there. Baggy pant, no issues with that whatsoever. Uh, and they do have a split boot. Look at that. So you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want to do with that. I dig that. And I like the paint application down there too. Um, these pants are definitely not limiting in articulation and range of motion on the, uh, the hip section. And then, uh, I mean, decent amount. I th we're actually hitting this armor plate here. That's kind of why I'm limited on range of motion there. And then he can twist around wherever you want to twist them. So there's no issues with that whatsoever. Um, the neck is a fixed neck. Yeah, it's a fixed neck. So I'm not going to get a whole lot of range of motion. Let me take this head off for a second. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot there. So we'll see how that goes with posing. Not a whole lot of, I mean, you're gonna get that, but as far as up and down, eh, maybe not so much. Shoulder wise, there's, I just popped the shoulder out of socket. So I guess you can do that. I guess that's a thing. That's not broken, by the way, it's just a shoulder. So I'm wondering like, could I put that in a different body? And I don't know, there's that. So anyways, I'm gonna pop this back in there securely. There it goes. So uh, overall, I like this uh, pretty pretty good. The, uh, the bear, here's this little teddy bear. Kind of dig that. It's got a nice little clip on there so you can put on his belt. Kind of dig that as well. I like that. It's charred up like it's supposed to be. The poncho is very lightweight. Like that's straight up nice material right there for a poncho. I like that. It feels like, uh, like a poncho material, which should be. I like this quite a lot. Is there any wires in it? Yeah. A little weak wire in there. It's not very strong. I like that, and I like the color application. Now, the weapons, on the other hand, this is what Cable's all about, man. He's got some cool weapons, so let's take a look at these. And you know we're having some fun posing them up. Obviously, with Deadpool, that should be a lot of fun. So there's a lot of stuff going on here that has to be attached to the actual figure. Uh, so we got his time-traveling little wristband device here, time jumper. That's kind of cool. We've got some, uh, some detonators. Kind of dig that. That's kind of cool. We got some shotgun shells. We got some knife, which is plastic. Nice little bully knife. That's cool. I dig that. And then we've got some uh, some, some magazines here that clip in. Oh, is that? Am I just gonna have to clip those in? Oh yeah, nice. It's just a little clip. Look, boop. It's a little clip. That's nice. I dig that. So uh, we got a few of those. We got some magazines for the uh, for the gun. And then uh, we have a couple guns. We have just a regular uh, pistol. Take that. We got a nice little shotgun. A little saw, like a futuristic sawed off shotgun deal. Kind of take that. Uh, and then we've got this guy, which is 
just all kinds of awesome. So let me get you out of here for a second, fella. Look at this. This thing is humongous and uh, and just kind of all kinds of badass. I like this quite a bit. Posing it's going to be fun because typically getting a hand around here and then like it's just oversized, but 100% cool. 100% cool. I like this. Nice little camo uh, wrap on the stock here. That's a nice touch. Nice dry brushing all the way throughout. Looks pretty good. So I, I think what we got to do now, have some fun with this thing, put it all together, pose them up, see what it looks like. <clears throat> As you can see right here, it looks pretty freaking awesome once you get all his kit on him. So uh, I will talk a couple points about putting all the stuff on there. One, uh, the Moly system is awesome for accuracy, for posability, and for adding features on there. Maybe a little small in one six scale. Uh, it takes me back to the days when I had one of those Galactech armory figures and it took me forever to put the parts on there. It, it is effective and it does work. Just be careful. Definitely use tweezers. So uh, as you can see, it, it looks quite good, right? Uh, and the presence, even without the poncho and without him even holding any weapons, is actually pretty cool. So I kind of dig that. It comes with a different, uh, you know, array of hands, which is nice. Some regular hands, some robotic hands, that kind of stuff that you would expect. Um, and kitted out like this, I think the proportions are good. I don't think the body's too small. Uh, I think it's just fine. I do think the head sculpt is a little soft. Again, like I said, based on other, um, you know, offerings we've had from Hot Toys. So let's talk about this. The, uh, the BFG uh, is magnetically attached to the back of his body, which is a nice touch. We've got his uh, uh, shotgun, solid of shotgun and pistol right there. We've got the uh, ammo magazines right there. And uh, there's a head sculpt, which I think is not too bad. Uh, ammo clips right there. We've got uh, the teddy bear goes on the back of the belt just like that. And then, the, like I said, the BFG is magnetically attached. There's not anywhere to put the knife that I saw, so that's kind of a thing. Um, but going down here, you can see like the detail on the shoes. Uh, they're very nicely done. I think he definitely, uh, if you want to go crazy with this thing and, and really kit him out, uh, some weathering on the pants and the shirt would be nice. I think that'd be a nice touch, um, but uh, definitely not necessary. Maybe this is pre-battle, I guess. Uh, the showing of the joints on the elbows, not a deal breaker. You know, not my favorite thing in the world, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but I kind of, uh, I kind of like it. In fact, I kind of like it a lot, actually. Kind of dig it. Uh, I love that the uh, the BFG on the back is uh, magnetic because I was wondering how the heck is he going to hold on to this thing. Uh, and I love these hands. I, I, I don't know. I dig it. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely got shelf presence, which is one of those things that we always uh, want to see in our collections. So I guess now we just need to put some accessories on there, pose them up, see what he looks like. Known for his perfect karate form, we've got Deadpool up in the mix doing the flying crane kick. Looking kind of awesome with uh, Cable there. I did break out the shield because I figured somebody might want to see that. I think the shield's pretty cool. I gotta be honest with you. I, I don't know if I'll end up displaying mine with that, uh, but for those who got the accessory, it's it makes sense. It's better than some other special edition uh, accessories we've seen in the past. Uh, posing wise, no issues posing this guy, other than the single joint elbows. You know that's that's a thing, and it just it just is what it is. Uh, but these two together, just having fun with uh, with Deadpool and Cable. Uh, I think they go well together, obviously. So currently they're fighting each other. Maybe they'll do a team up. Uh, maybe we'll break out the, uh, let's see if I got it right here. The trainee jersey, maybe. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I do, I do like this figure. I think these two pose well together. So having fun with this thing, let's go again. All right, we've got Cable posed up with another uh, another Deadpool pose, having fun. So I did put the poncho on Cable, and I gotta say, it's probably my favorite look. I like him all bulked up. He's got the weapons, he's got the poncho, he's got the teddy bear, he's got the BFG, um, and, and he's also brought Deadpool along for the uh, for the battle. And I, I think it looks pretty cool. So um, I definitely had to use the stand for this, otherwise he'd, he'd be falling over. Uh, so the question on the table has to be, is this a figure you should pick up or you should consider picking up? Uh, I think it is. I think it's pretty cool. I don't think we're going to get another cable uh, figure. It's, from my opinion, it looks way better than the Toys Era version. Like, I don't even think it's a fair comparison between the two, but that's just me. Uh, I, I think the poncho is cool. The paint applications are good. I think it could use a little bit more weathering. 
but it really it's just personal preference on that one uh the single joint elbows kind of suck but you know we kind of all knew that was going to happen but paired up with deadpool it looks freaking awesome and i may just leave them posed like this for a little while just because it's fun uh the uh, robotic arm uh, is awesome uh, i you know i think it's cool so uh you know i'd pick it up uh you, you might be able to get it on a discount somewhere or, or shipping or you know something down the line that might be one of those things um, but if you're a Deadpool fan, I think it's an absolute pickup. I think it's pretty stinking cool. Uh, if you want to pick up one of these now, you can check out Pop Collectibles. They got them in stock. Uh, link in the description below along with a little discount code if you like. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we've got possibly a little giveaway coming up very soon. So you might want to subscribe to the channel. That'd be kind of cool. And uh, as always, click what you like. See you next time.